This is my review of the Tracer 2215RN charge controller. I've got uh, four panels hooked up. These are there's five panels up there, but four are hooked up, um, two each in a series. Um, so the the two on the left up there are one big panel, and the two on the right are one big panel, and then hooked parallel together uh, for about 31 volts of uh, power for use with the MPPT technology. So I'll go look the inside. So I'm doing a review of the Ch Tracer 2200, uh, 2215 RN because I didn't see a lot of uh, actual reviews on YouTube. I think there was maybe one or two um, that had some information on them. Um, and when I was looking for it, uh, obviously I was looking for everything I could find. I couldn't find anything. So this is my review. So we'll start with the basic setup. I got uh, an old deep cell here, it's kind of wrecked, it doesn't charge properly. Uh, but it works. Uh, I assume it's about a 90 amp hour battery. <coughs> it's just a 12 volt setup that I have. I have my little watt meter that I got off eBay. So you can see what it's doing here. So right now my 12 watts of power, my uh, four solar panels, which are three watts each, is uh, pulling in about 15 watts. Uh, it's a sunny sky, uh, clear, sun's directly on the panels, so it's overproducing, uh, and that's great. So you see the uh, 28, 29 volts there, top right corner, and the amperage, about half an amp. I mean, I'm running a pretty tiny array. It's just This just lights a little shed, uh, so it's pretty basic. So we move up to the charge controller here. So the main unit, which you can buy separate, uh, so this is a 20 amp. I came from a 10 amp uh, PWM controller. So this is a step up for sure. Uh, it is a Chinese make and company. Uh, it appears to do what uh, I'm expecting it to do though. And you see the red light for PV to show that the panel's charged. Um, the battery is the battery LED actually changes color uh, based on the, the battery diagram there. So if it's lower, it'll actually turn orange. And if it's really low, over low, it'll be a, a red light for that battery LED, which is really nice. And then there's a temperature sensor too. Um, so it finds the ambient temperature so it can charge the batteries correctly. Now with this, you can also get the, the uh, meter 5, the MT5. Uh, which works with um, the various tracer charge controllers, the 10 amp, the 20 amp, the 30 amp, the 40 amp. Um, I got this as all one package. Um, some people say it's not helpful. I like the big GUI. I like to be able to see what it's doing real time, all time. There is a, a wee little display here, uh, but it's tiny. So you can do your configuration of your you know, battery type and uh, your timers and stuff. But you know, it, uh, it's much easier to have a nice big display. So this is a remote display. So you can cycle through um, the various pieces. So the solar panel, it's showing uh, 27 volts coming in. Um, and anything greater than, you know, 12 to 14, it's going to start trying to do its MPPT thing where it takes the extra voltage and turns it into amperage. So it's, it's showing about 27. And that's exactly what my watt meter is showing. So that agrees there. So that's pretty good. Um, there's a ton of options in here and stuff it's displaying. I'll show you the basics. So it's showing the 12.4 volts in the battery. This battery again is kind of toast, so it's not. Uh, it's showing about 40% charged here, and it shows that it's charging at uh, 500 milliamps. Now. It's not doing much in terms of MPPT uh, right now. On the watt meter, it's showing you know 5600 milliamps or 560 milliamps, 570 milliamps. So it's not doing a ton right now. But I mean, I'm I have a pretty tiny array on it, and it's kind of useless for testing this properly. Um, And then it's got the load and it shows you how much voltage is being drawn and how much amperage is being drawn uh, with the load on. So I just have a couple of LED lights on it which end up taking about 20 watts in total. 
I'm driving AC, I'm not doing DC right now, so I've got a little 70 watt, 75 watt inverter there uh, to drive some AC LEDs. Um, I'm going to get some DC LEDs so I can do an all DC power source. That's to come. So the backlit display is nice, uh, obviously works great at night. Um, it's got LEDs on the meter as well, the green, nice green charge light and the E for air, uh, the air light, uh, you know, red if you got a, a reversal of contacts or something like that. You see here under the battery, uh, it's showing 90 amp hour, you can set that. You can see 30 degrees um, Celsius, which seems a little high, but... Uh, maybe close. It's it's 25 degrees out, anyways. And then here you can see the percent, uh, the state of charge. 40 percent it's showing, 39. Um, and then you see the FLD there for flooded, because my battery is a flooded lead acid. And you can set the AGM and all the other types there. And then you can set your timers for your load, which is nice. And then it shows some um, accumulated watt hours, um, things like that. And then we're back to the solar panel, which is now up to 32 volts. So I'll go back over to this one. So that's it. I mean, you can set it up all with the meter. You can do it all on the unit itself. But again, I like to have a display, you know, mostly for because it's a hobby and I enjoy seeing what it's doing. Um, it's nice to, to see what's happening and the, the cord's two meters so you can put it a fair distance away and you can control the uh, load if it's on manual setting with that uh, last button there. Uh, the manual's okay, the English is pretty good in it although you can tell that it was translated from Chinese. Um, all in all, uh, this unit seems to be pretty good. I love the big display. Uh, more companies should do that. It, it kind of dumbs it down, especially for the newbies. Uh, like myself, and gives you a good heads up. It also saves having to uh, plug in voltmeters all the time, uh, which is a pain. And that's actually one of the reasons I got my watt meter, so that I could just plug it in. Now this is the one drawback of the Tracer series. It doesn't reflect um, stuff coming from the solar panel. If I go over to the solar panel, all it shows is voltage. It doesn't show amperage. Um, you know, it doesn't give you a watt reading for what it's pulling off right now. You have to get that by other means, and so in line I have my watt meter, and that's that's why I have that. And the other purpose is this is just a good uh, secondary indicator to confirm my results, and and you know, confirm that the tracer is doing what it's doing, and uh, look for something where you know maybe not operating ideally. I really should probably be getting a few more volts here since I have. Uh, two 18 volt max voltage panels uh, in series. I really should have about 36 volts, uh, you know, in, in direct sunlight, and I am in direct sunlight. So they're not operating uh, at their peak. They they probably should be a little bit higher than 30, or, or even 31, you know. Um, they're all uh, 12 volt Volkswagen car charger panels that you'd put in your front windshield so they are what they are um, I'm just this is the first time I've tried putting uh, solar panels in series um, to test out what it's doing and to, to uh, see how the MPPT is going to work but it works pretty well um, so you see actually they're uh, 600 milliamps so it was at 600 for a second there so it was using 600 milliamps because the voltage was nice and high there it is right there if I go down here, you see it's at 56, uh, 560 milliamps. So it does, uh, you know, when the voltage gets above 30, it is uh, producing more amperage into the battery um, than the the panels are producing themselves just because of the higher voltage conversion. So yeah, 12 volts of or uh, 12 watts of panels producing 16, 17 watts of power. That's excellent. Doing good. And that's my review. It works well. Uh, I paid about, I think it was $140 or something for the base. Um, I think shipping was free. Uh, you know, off eBay, it's your standard Chinese company stuff. Uh, it just seems to work. Uh, it's great for what I'm doing. Uh, you may not 
choose this for uh, a six kilowatt system in in your house or something. Obviously, you might you probably want to get a want to spend a few more bucks on a you know a commercial uh, production grade and, and a lot more amperage uh, unit. But for the the DIY guy uh, setting up his own solar system, this is a great help to get an understanding of what's happening. So that's it. That is my solar setup.